Hello and welcome, I'm Michael. And I am Sam. And we want you to join us and enter the dungeon for a two-player playthrough of Tiny Epic Dungeons. So we've got it already all set up, the dungeon's laid out, the decks are all shuffled, everything's ready to go. Uh, I am playing Grakul, the half-orc barbarian. And I am playing Garand the Blue, the ancient wizard. Uh, on the back of these cards, I'll just show you real quick, are the cheat sheets for the icon uh, guides. So that's really helpful if you're new to the game and you want to, to take a look at those icons. And we would have one for each player, considering how many characters we've unlocked. Thank you, everybody, for your tremendous support. So let's just dive right into this. Um, since I'm the barbarian, I think I'll charge forward and uh, I'll go first. So I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move up into here and explore this room. So we'll flip it over. I can orient the card how I want, in which I will choose to have it this way. It's a little treasure room and it adds a goblin. So uh, I just got hit with a surprise attack from Boomy. That'll deal me one damage. I'll place this little token here. And that ends my movement, uses up all my speed. So now I can, uh, I may as well attack it. I've got my handy ax here, it gives me a plus one. It's a strength check for my attack, and I get to roll three dice. I will include the enemy die as well, because just in case Boomy survives, I don't think he will, but if he does, he will hit me back, possibly. All right, so his defense was four, which means I just had to get a five. I see a five showing here. Of course, a six beats it as well. Uh, this would gain me a focus. Some of these dice, uh, they'll see little focus icons if you don't use it. Of course, I'm at full focus, so I don't need to worry about that now. I do kill Boomy. His rewards are either a loot or a spell, and I will choose loot. Let's see what I got. Ooh, Greaves of the Lion. That's a fancy way to start. That's fantastic for Grok. Grok is really great with the Lion set, yes. Uh, the Lion set, when I get more pieces, I'll be able to be restoring health on melee attacks. In the meantime, this will at least give me a plus one movement, which is quite needed for Grok, being that he only has a three movement. That ends my turn. The torch track will go down. It would trigger enemy actions, except I have slain the only enemy we've seen. So now, Sam, your turn. All right, I'm gonna start the game in positive fashion. I'm going to utilize my free action that uh, most of the magic users have in the game of uh, research, which allows me to spend four focus and get a spell. And I found healing aura. All right, that's a great Fantastic. healing spell. Uh, allows me to heal every hero within four. Uh, pretty high spell check, but uh, four focus and heals for three, so that's pretty nice. That'll come in handy towards the end of the game, yeah. mid, mid game too, you know. All right, and so I'm going to move. All right, whoa, I found a trap. Okay, right there. So Watch out. Fill up all of those rooms. Um, I have to roll for that trap. I need to beat a five, and we are updating uh, these graphics. So we're updating the iconography so that instead of beating the five, we would just have to match it. So this will actually be a six in the final version of the game. So I have to get a six or higher. Look at that. Got I rolled it. a six. And the reason that I researched is for this exact purpose, because I figured I'd probably have to do a skill check. Have you played this game before? I've played it once or twice. <laughs> uh, so my six will defeat the check. Um, and then I will gain four focus back. So I actually got basically to research for free. Had I gone in there and had to deal with the trap and then researched, I'd be down totally, four focus. It'd be totally different. Yeah. All right, so I can still keep moving or I could deal with that trap. Now that trap is right off the entrance. You and I are equally proficient at agility. I think that's probably a good trap to get out of the way. Yeah. And just kind of disarm. I think it's good timing. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I only get to roll two dice for my agility. We're looking for five. And that's exactly what I got. All right, five, so I succeeded in disarming the trap, so we take a disarm token. I'd get either a loot or a spell. Now, I do like getting spells, but I haven't filled up my research spot yet, and that's a free action, so I am gonna go for a loot, because I also might find something that you like. Sure. I hope I don't. I hope that it's for me. But it, it's most efficient. Well, it is indeed something I like, Sam. Well, so I'm going to keep I, it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the long sword it's of the a, lion. A which very is, shiny blade. That's phenomenal. I really only roll one strength die, so even if I wanted to be a jerk, it's not even being useful. So I am going to throw it in the discard pile for my good old pal. Grockle. Which is nice, and that's kind of how the loot works. But, you know, Sam throwing that discard pile means next time I would get loot, I could pick that up, and so that's really handy. You could even do it with this treasure chest I in could. your room action. Doing an agility that grayed out means you can pull from the discard pile. Yeah. Anytime it's in color, it means you can draw from the deck or the discard pile. All right, so the end of your turn is going to summon a goblin. So we're going to see... 
Pokey enter the dungeon Ooh. here at the entrance. Anytime Pokey's a tough, tough goblin. Anytime they're summoned from the torch track, they will go to the entrance. So, all right. Um, what's neat about Pokey is you do get a free room reveal, which is handy for finding those minions, mm -hmm. which of course is an integral part of the game in the torch track. Um, I'm going to come on down, stay close to you, and just clear out this goblin while we're all around here. So, uh, he has a six defense, which is pretty tough. I still get my plus one, rolling three dice. Oh. Six plus one, that'll be just enough to beat it. Uh, all right, so Pokey is gone. I will pick up that. Did you want that long sword? Nice long sword of the <laughs> lion. Beautiful. So now every time you make a melee attack, you will heal one point oh. because you have two of the lion set. For a character with such low defense, that sounds awesome. All right, so I uh, got rid of him, and that was my movement and attack. That ends the turn. You do for get me. a reveal for his ability. That's right. That was what was on my mind. Um, we know that the ones right off the entrance aren't a minion. Actually, um, nothing on the board can be a minion yet because of how the deck is stacked for two players. So we will go like this and just kind of shoot this corridor all the way up. This. We reveal another minion or another goblin. It's Shooty. And that's still, let's see, because there's five cards on the top of the deck that are not minions. So that's going to be one, two, three. Four, five. So that's the last card. This is the last card that cannot be a minion. Anything past this card that we reveal, Fine, anywhere, sure. Yeah, could be a minion. All right. End of my turn. The torch goes down. That does trigger enemies, which will cause Shooty to move and shoot both, both Sam and I for one damage each. All right. Well, uh, Shooty made the mistake of getting close to Garand, uh, and I'm going to use my magic arrow to take care of that fool. Fool of a goblin. All right, six. Uh, that is well far enough to be able to take care of my magic arrow. In this instance, and I thought about my action three seconds longer, I would have realized I should have researched first, <laughs> and that way I'd actually get two focus back, but I did not, so I spend two focus, and I do take care of Shooty, uh, which is going to give me a loot. I found a crossbow. Mm. Uh, I mean... My crossbow is better than the dagger, so I'll keep it. Yeah. Um, it's not likely something that will stay with me unless I don't find anything else for that slot. Uh, I still can move. Yes. So I'm going to move here, and I found a trap. Uh, so here I could either connect these and then create just like a little loop, yeah. or I could cut that off and open up another kind of area over here. Where we know minions could be. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna kind of siphon that off. Yeah. Partially. Yeah. Who needs and to go this, up there? This is the first card that could potentially be a minion. Right. We don't know whether it is, but it could be. Uh, I do have to deal with the trap, so I have to roll. But imperfect information is very helpful. Yeah. All right, four, five, that's not quite enough, so I'm gonna spend two focus. Uh, to make that four a five, so then the five plus one is a six, so I beat the trap and I get one focus back. Nice. I'm not going to explore further, I'm just kind of let, gonna let that be. Okay, so that ends your turn, torch moves down to a blank space, that's good. All right, for my turn, uh, I don't wanna really separate us, I wanna kinda keep us together so that we can work as a team when fighting these minions, cause they're tough. Uh, I'm gonna go one and I'm gonna move into this room. Wow, it's just, it doesn't connect. I was really hoping it'd kind of loop back up. Yeah, not our, our only further hope is away. really to go up here then to connect it. Right, and that's the last uh, room for that side of the dungeon because the dungeon can only extend three dungeon cards from the entrance in mm -hmm. any direction. I may have to move my healing aura a little bit. Um, but there's no immediate thing in this room going on. There's a couple of goblins sleeping. I'm going to let them sleep, and I'm going to quietly move on to the next room. I'm going right. to angle that upward. Okay. So I found the library. I also found a goblin, which she's going to attack me because it's a surprise hit on me. I figured he'd be preoccupied with the books, but apparently he was not well, reading. If we do find a minion here, we are cornering them. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. We're gonna flank him. All right, so um, I'm gonna make my attack on Boomy. Four defense, using my long sword. Uh, by doing a melee attack, I'll immediately gain one health as the set bonus of the lion. And I beat the four handedly with you that six. Absolutely crushed him. Yeah, so he's out of here, and my reward choice is loot or spell, and I'll take some more loot. A ruby figurine. Uh, you know, I'm gonna 
Just hold on to it. Yeah, so there are, there like with the gelatinous cube that's been added from the stretch goals, that thing can erode your gear. It's nice to have something, even if you're not gonna use it, just in case you have to give it up at some point. It's no reason to take a loot from one of your teammates that can use a loot, but in this <laughs> instance, I am. I don't even have. I erased my ability to make yeah. a strength check. I'll so drop it if you want it, but I no. don't. The ruby figurine allows you to to roll an extra die when you're rolling for a strength check, yeah. but your max is three, so it literally does me no good. Yeah. Um. But and effectively does me does, no good. Does you no good. But in other games, like when you have someone that's kind of specking out, like one of the great uh, base game heroes, um, the uh, cleric. What's her name? Uh, the cleric. Uliessa. Uliessa. She's great because she can be like a battle mage, oh, yeah. and you give her an extra melee die, and it's like, oh, Whoa! It's, yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. All right, end of end of uh, that turn uh, summons a goblin, and we find Stabby right. coming down the stairs, chasing us through this dungeon. All right. Well, I suppose I will attack Stabby. I am in that range, and then taking care of it now keeps us in a good spot to not have to worry about it. So six is going to be enough for the check. I do get three focus back, which fills me up on focus. I spend two to cast my magic arrow. Nice. Takes it out. I could gain health or loot. I'm going to gain loot. Oh, man. I'm just finding Whoa. everything for you. Whoa. We are having mail of the lion. Promise this is not this is not rigged. This is just <laughs> incredibly good luck. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's incredible. That's really good for you. Um, so at the end of my turn, enemies are going to... Attack. Yeah. Uh, so I don't really want to move because even if I reveal a goblin, I'm pretty much guaranteeing I'm going to get hit. Well, and as a wizard, you mean squishy. Yeah. I yeah. if I reveal a minion, it's even worse because I take two damage from just revealing it, and then whatever it's going to do to activate. So right. I am not going to move. I'd love to, but it's just it's a little too precarious right Being now. Being aware of the torch track and what's coming up at the end of your turn is important. So as Sam said, it will trigger enemy actions. There are no enemies out, so that gets ignored. Uh, and I'm going to advance upward. All right. Ooh, I found a goblin. I kind of wanted to keep moving, but here we go. I'm going to take an attack at Stabby. So I do take a damage from encountering the goblin that way. But you're about to make a melee attack with a lion set. And I get my health back. Boop. Boom. Uh, defensive four I have to beat. I do that. Goblins are so squishy and easy to kill. It's really a crowd control thing. It's, so long as you're just managing the goblins, they're the easiest things ever, and you just you feel ultra powerful. And you keep getting really nice loot every time you do it. But on the flip side, if you ignore the goblins, their abilities are, they compound on each other. So the more goblins out there, the more damage each of them does, and that will overwhelm your party quick. Yeah. All right, that was my movement and my attack. So that's the end of my turn. Uh, that will go down. To right. a blank space. So we are getting a little bit low on that torch track. We only have a couple turns each before we're out of time, so we need to find a minion. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and move right into here. And I found a dead end with a goblin. Wow. Uh, <laughs> all righty. Wow. What goblin did I find? Sam, you found Boomy. Boomy. All right. So it did deal me a damage. Uh, this is not, the dungeon is building out in a very unique way. That is not being helpful to us. I am going to roll for magic arrow to try and kill Boomy. Uh, I wow, holy so buckets! A six-two-two two is the technically the best roll in the game. Uh, I succeed with the six. I will max out my focus, and then I spend two to cast the spell. Uh, kill Boomy! Come on, give me some good loot. Maybe some Phoenix set. Phoenix set. Phoenix set. Oh, oh my goodness! Buckler. I just keep finding what's, what's the only, what's the only thing you? I'm missing? A shield. I got a sword. <laughs> I got my armor. I've got my greaves. Oh, wow! <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm ecstatic for you, but I really want <laughs> something for me. Uh, I could technically use the portal because it's not a movement; it's a free action. There's really nowhere for me to go right now, so I'm not going to. Yeah. Use it at um, the start of your turn next turn But I something. could. I just want to make sure that, that it's known. I could use the portal right now. There's really yeah, no it, reason for me to, so I'm not going to. Yeah, just because you could use it at the start of your next turn. It, it, yeah. I imagine you're going to use it. You're really tucked up in there. And I'm behind a trap. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're far away from everybody. All right, so at the end of your turn, we add a goblin. So we got Pokey, Pokey. coming to the entrance. Pokey, killing Pokey could reveal a minion for us. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm I'm gonna just proceed and hopefully and find a minion. That's the only thing on the board that I think could be a minion if I remember correctly. Because yeah. we know it's not those two, we know it's not that, and I don't think it's that one. Alright, well let's see what it is. Oh, it's a minion! It is indeed a minion. We found the dire serpent. Oh, oh look at that. Oh. That's gonna be Grok up on the, the ledge of the mountain it's, attacking. It's kinda cool on we've the got ledge a, of the rock. We've got a field goal shaped dungeon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so we'll add him there. Okay, and then we get the health token. The Dire Serpent has six health. Um, I take two damage immediately upon revealing the Dire Serpent because I walked into its room. Uh, and then I'm going to make an attack. And upon my attack, I will, because I now have three pieces of Lion's I'll gain two health immediately back. Okay, a couple of sixes and a plus one. So I've got seven there. Uh, my set is going to give me another plus one. So I'm at eight. Uh, the Dire Serpent's defense is five except for against melee attacks where it's six so right now i would only be doing two damage to the dire serpent but as grok i can use my battle rage spend three focus uh and that'll give me a plus two so now i'm up to a total of 10 against six so i'll do four damage which is the dire serpent. That my magic arrow can finish it off yep right that puts it right in your range um okay but because I didn't kill it, it will counterattack. And I rolled like a, a really truck. nasty, oh. nasty five. And its counterattack on melee is four, so that's a total of nine to my two plus one for my armor three defense, meaning it'll do six damage to me, which is actually my entire amount of health. Uh, so I am unconscious. Oh. In so the it's room a, with the Dire Serpent. So it's a really good thing that you did just enough damage because otherwise... Uh, well, he, no, that's the end yeah. of my turn now. So the Dire Serpent's going to move. It's going to move three spaces towards, towards Sam me. because I'm unconscious. It doesn't care about me anymore. Oh, but technically the Goblin would have gone first. The goblin I goes didn't see the Goblin. He is not within one, so he will move one, two, three into my space. Okay. Now it's your turn, Sam. Now it is my turn. So I am going to... Hmm... I can't actually use the portal now that Pokey is in my room. That's because I can't use the room ability of of a room if there's an enemy in there, unless there's another hero there to distract the enemy. So if I want to hit the Dire Serpent, I just have to move out. Uh, luckily, Pokey started a turn in my spot, so I can accomplish that. It does mean I have to deal with the trap, though. So I have to deal with that trap. Looking for a six. Um, yeah, looking for a six. So I'm going to spend two focus to make that three plus two. So that achieves it, and I get one focus back from the three. And then my magic arrow has a range of two. I'm two away. I can, where I'm not in a straight line from the snake, I don't actually have to roll the enemy die. As long as I'm successful here and don't have an absolutely atrocious roll, I should be successful. Oh, I got it. Good roll. Five will accomplish it. The two will give me three focus back. And then I spend two focus to cast it. He needs two damage. Luckily, Boom. Garand has a very strong base spell yeah. and two damage as opposed to one. And I was uh, able to kill it. And, and now we re re reap the rewards. So um, we're going to get six time back on the torch track. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, here's the health token you can put on the layer door. That's the one key. Now we just need one more key, essentially, and we can enter. And then you get two loot or two spells or one of each. And I do really, I keep wanting to use my research, but there's always stuff I need to do. So find, I me, find me more loot, Sam. Yeah. What do you got for me? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take the Elven Chain yes, because you don't seem good. to be using it. The Amethyst figurine gives plus intelligence. Uh, Which you don't need. I don't need, but I don't think you're going to pick it up. Uh, not unless, like, by chance the spell came out, like giant strength or yeah. something. But by then we could worry about it later. Yeah. For now, I'll hold on to it, but yeah. I could very easily drop it on a future turn. Yeah. So I'll do that, and I've moved and taken an action, so I'm done. All right. Torch goes down. It's a blank space. I have to rest as my required action for the turn, being that I started this turn unconscious. I'll gain three health, five focus. That'll fill me up on my focus. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. But I can still move, but, uh, you know, I'm a little apprehensive about that. Um, Why? If you reveal a minion, you only go down to one health. <laughs> uh, I am going to start coming down this direction. One, two, three, and I'm going to come all the way. Oh, Four. you do have the extra movement from the Greaves. From the Greaves. Got How those nice fancy lion boots. Uh, okay, so that's the end of my turn. The torch track will go down. That will 
spawn a goblin at the entrance. Boomy. We'll place him there. And Sam, it's your turn. At the end of your turn, enemies activate. Okay. Well, I'm going to kill Pokey, who is sitting right there in that portal space. Not only because maybe I want to use the portal space, but also because he's a toughie to kill, and I ignore defense, uh, and I'd love to see what this is. Yeah. That'd be good. Okay. Uh, that was not the best roll that I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I'm trying to get a five. That was a four. So I'm going to spend two to whatever, move that up to a two. So then two, four, five is enough. I spend two focus. Got it. I take him out. Pokey is gone. I will right, get a loot. Cloak of the Panther. I actually like better than Elven Chain. <laughs> Already swapping out your chain, though. Uh, because it allows me to ignore enemies while I move. Yeah. No, that's amazing. Um, I also get to use Pokey's ability, and I will reveal this room. Ooh, and it was a minion. Ooh, it's a minion. Um, this this is... time, it's the dungeon crawler, the giant spider. All right. So, oh, nasty. Wow. So this is, from the entrance, three cards up, which means I can't actually extend any further that way, and it's also three cards over, so I can't extend this way, so the only opening is going to be there. Um, are you in a spot that you'd actually be able to help me? They're activating after this? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Don't love the ideas that are occurring. Because <laughs> <laughs> he can move two, so he'd move here. And can hit one away, so he can hit here. If I go here, I'll still be hit by Boomy. So the only way to avoid getting hit is if I move into the portal space and wait for next turn. Yeah. Do that. So I suppose... At least it's a portal space. Yeah. I suppose I'll do that. I'm going to move there. Okay. So Torch goes down. That does trigger the enemies. Boomy will stay there and throw his grenade at me. For one damage, and he and will the move. Spider will two. crawl one, two, and not be able to hit anybody. And he can't hit me because there is a wall here. Yep, he can't there's see not a pathway. Him. Yeah, yeah. So that's very nice. <laughs> okay, all right. So for my turn, um, we got a little bit of time. We're not like totally up against the edge of the clock here, so I, I don't think with my two health I need to be running in and doing something valiant. So I'm just gonna step over here. And attack Boomy. The nice thing is your attacks give you health back. So, yep, so I'll pick up two health just immediately from the attack. Not quite as good as resting, but almost as good as resting. Uh, I, I beat Boomy handedly with that six. I don't need the focus right now, so that will get ignored. So in this instance, I can pick up, yeah, a loot. And I will take that spiked buckler. Defense now, and attack. Now I have plus two to my defense and plus two to my attack, plus a regeneration feature, like a healing from my magic armor. You are lo like you are set up enough that your character is ready to face the, the dungeon boss. Correct. We need to get yeah. you some more loot. I, I and am another not, damaging spell. I'm not quite <laughs> as set up yeah. as you are, but yeah. All right. Torch goes down to a blank space. And in fact, I'm so not set up that I kind of feel like I might need to rest and research. Because um, I don't think the dungeon... The dungeon crawler is not a... Of the minions, he's not a crazy, crazy tough minion. No, well, well he spreads it out. He hits, yeah. your, he hits your health and your focus yeah. instead of, like, doubling down mm -hmm. on your health, you know? And we've got enough that I, I'm going to try it. I'm going to rest and then research. Uh, so I heal three, but I only could heal two, and then re, uh, rest up to five uh, focus. And then I will spend four of that focus to research a new spell. Cloud of Death. So Ooh. this is an area attack okay. that allows me to hit everybody within one space of me for two damage. If we get somebody like the Goblin King as our uh, as our final boss, that's really helpful yeah, to that, manage. That could be amazing. Yeah. Uh, and then that's my turn. I'm not going to move because I'm in the portal space, so I'm just going to stay put. All right, at the end of your turn, a goblin is spawned at the entrance, right where I'm at. It's Stabby. So at the start of my turn, I have the option of either leaving Stabby and going to attack the dungeon crawler because um, I can move four, so I actually can reach. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to just run over there and attack the dungeon crawler. Valiantly charge into battle. I like it. Okay. Well, uh, it's a valiant we charge with some battle rage. Roll that enemy die, but hopefully I can one shot it. We'll see. Ooh. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, oh! Okay, let's start here. I gain two health from my lion set, and I roll dang near the best possible roll. 
A 622 is the best. I got a 621. So 9, 10, 11 damage to its 5 that does 6 damage to it. Uh, which is which is not quite enough to kill it. It has 7 hit points, except for I'm going to enrage myself with my Barbarian Blood, spend 3 focus, gain 2 more attack to that, putting me up to 13, uh, which will do 8 damage to it, killing it in one shot. All right. So I'll give that to you to put over on the door. The dungeon crawler is out of our life. Woot woot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Extra time on the torch track. Two loot, two spells, or one of each. I'm going to start with one loot at a time. Ooh, I'm going to swap out the Warhorn of the Bear yeah. for the Ruby figurine. The Warhorn actually allows me to move the enemies, uh, goblins, minions, epic foe, whatever. The final boss, I can move them wherever I want. Uh, and yeah, we're looking for loot for you, so... Oh, instead of jerking oh. up the bear. You know what? This is amazing. I'm actually going to swap out. They both give me plus one armor. The, um, the plate of lion gives me armor all the time. This one is required on a melee attack, but that's really all I'm doing. So in the same way, that's good. But this will allow me to have uh, two pieces of the bear set and two pieces of the lion set. So while my heal will go down from two to one, my attack will now go up to another plus one attack. So I've kind of got this little hybrid mix dual set thing going on and I'm liking it. Yeah, that's a great, <laughs> that that is probably a, one of the coolest setups, personally. Like the only thing that I'd like better is maybe the great ax here and keeping the plate mail because the great ax has a plus two. Yeah. But I mean, other than that, it's hard to beat yeah. what you've got going on. Well, at the end of my turn, Stabby will react. Uh, he there's nobody in the room so he'll move four spaces toward and the nearest one, hero two three four two three so he'll move into my space yep and then oh he's i don't know why i'm discarding him <laughs> he's so scared <laughs> of garen that he's yeah. like nope not going in there <laughs> I, I just have a feeling you're gonna <laughs> obliterate him quite quickly uh which i will uh it's my turn so i'm gonna cast magic arrow uh wow my rolls have been less than stellar I saw the 2-1, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get some good focus. And then the other one was a 2, which means I have to use all three of them to accomplish my spell and spend the 2 focus uh, to actually take him down. Uh, I could gain 3 health or loot. I'm already full up on health, so come on, baby. Let's get me some good loot. Gloves of the Panther. Okay. So You're developing as a, uh, as a rogue? I mean... <laughs> so, so overall, this is actually not terrible because I roll two dice. So two dice is pretty okay. I get the plus one from the crossbow. I get the plus one from the gloves of the panther. And, and because this gonna... is a range attack and I have two sets of the panther, I get an additional plus one there. So it's two yeah. dice plus three. Plus you get a focus from the crossbow. And I get a focus it. from the crossbow. like Which you actually can use a lot of focus. To be completely honest, I'm not mad about this. <laughs> like it's not what I would have anticipated when the game started. If you'd have told me, Garen's gonna be a bit roguish. Yeah. I'd have been like, ha ha ha. If you had the jade figurine oh, instead, man. getting that plus intellect or uh, yeah. uh, agility die, All I'd right. go. I'd go solid straight, straight uh, agility. At the end of your turn, nothing happens. Oh, I could move. Uh, we still need to find the lair. Yeah, we have a bunch of time, but we do need to find the lair. I'll probably end up using the portal, so I'm not gonna move. Okay. All right, well, let's see. I've so been saying one, that two, for four three, turns four. now. But I'm going to go down into here. One, two, three, four. And I found myself a goblin, so I will take a damage from moving into an unexplored room of the goblin. I found Shooty. He's got a moderate defense, but I'm pretty geared out. I'm really not concerned at all. So we only have four cards on the dungeon deck left, so we know that nothing on the board is the lair right now. I do kill Shooty. Okay. Uh, let's see what I get here, though. Six, well, four. This isn't going to do it. Just the, i got to get to a six, and I'll get plus three. So that does it alone. So I'll pick up all that focus from these two dice not being used. So Shooty's gone. Um, I'll grab the loot real quick. Let's see. Ooh, oh, Ring, Ring of, of the Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah, that's Look what Sam's that. looking for. All righty. That's awesome. So as a point of strategy, I just kind of want to discuss with you, Michael. And I do heal. So where we know that the last four cards are in the dungeon deck, that's where the lair is. We know that we're going to have to take the dungeon boss through a ritual room, which they're all on the board now. We've got the two minion ritual rooms up here and the entrance. Yep. If it only requires one, it's easiest if we can find the lair right here. 
right? Because right. that way we don't have to go all the way up there. But if it happens to be a dungeon boss that requires two ritual tokens and we go here, it's going to be very tough to get them all the way there. But that's a fairly low chance. Most of them only Most require one. Most of them are one. just one. What do you think? Because uh, it will depend on where I decide to portal through here. Well, I mean, it, it you know, there, we're running out of space up there is the thing. We are. If we run into another dead end or something, it's a lot of wasted time. Mm -hmm. I say we search down here and, and hope that it's just a minion that only takes one. You know, I like that plan. But it's good to think about. It's yeah. something you have to consider. Mm -hmm. All right. So I only have one focus. So I don't actually have enough to use a portal. So I'm going to rest. I don't love doing that, but... That's kind of the constant the constant battle with with being a, a you know a mage a spellcaster or a wizard, is that you're always battling for that focus. So, you gotta prep your spells. Yeah. So now I'm gonna spend two, and I'm gonna portal right there to the entrance. Um, I guess I'll explore. You I mean, I know this isn't a minion. Yeah. 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 There's no more minions. We've we've killed all the minions. Well, good news. I found a dead end there. So, <laughs> okay. that's one. Well, the, two. that's the dead end that would, that I thought maybe would yeah. be up there. Three, that's a trap. All right, so we now have two rooms off of here. So the lair could be either one of those. Okay. I do have to deal with this trap, trying to get a seven. So not an easy trap. I rolled exactly what I needed, though. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. Uh, I, what the heck? I'll keep moving. I'll do one more. Sure. Uh, down here. And... You found a kitchen. So we know that the lair is in one of these three rooms. Okay. Uh, and that was my movement because I portaled here, so then I did one... Oh, no, I portaled here. One, two, three, four. Yep. So that is my turn. Okay, so the torch track goes down. We add a goblin. Shooty appears in the entrance of the dungeon, which kind of blocks my path from getting down there to you. Um, one, two, all into there, and I will... So glad we took care of this early game. Yeah. We walked through that so many times. <laughs> yeah, and now we're going to want to take care of this, knowing that we're going to have to inevitably go yes. back through there again. I heal one from my lion set. Uh, I do plenty of damage. This five, I got plus three, so I totally smash shooty. Uh, I will reject the focus and gain a loot instead. The jade oh, figurine. Oh my goodness! This is this is what uh, oh, Garrett, in order to okay. fully fully spec out as a ranger character. I mean, I kind of want to do it. <laughs> I've never, and as many times as we've played this game, I've never done that with Garen. <laughs> I kind of want to do it for. Uh, I think it'd be fun. All right, all right. End of my turn. Enemies trigger. There are no enemies present on the board. So okay. So I'm going to go back up into this trap. I really shouldn't have just moved out of there, but it's yeah. fine. Um, I'm trying to get a seven. Wow, I rolled exactly what I needed. Again. Uh, four, five, six, <laughs> seven. Uh, and then I'm going to try to disarm it, uh, which I'm still going to use my intellect. Oh, no, wait, I can't use my intellect uh, because mm. I saw what I rolled, though, and I really wish that I could keep, <laughs> keep that roll. I do have to use my agility. I do get the plus one yeah, agility so from the two gloves. two dice plus one. But I do need to get a six. Okay. Uh, well, the good thing is is that I can use two focus to make that three down to a plus two, so then it becomes a six. Um, that unlocks it. Or wait, so this was a three. I need to get to a six, four, five. If I spent that two focus to make this a five instead, that accomplishes the check and I get a single and you get focus, a focus back. back. Yeah, that makes a difference. So Every that's focus counts. better, yes. Uh, and I get a reward. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna pick up instead the Instead of the ring? Instead of the ring of the Phoenix? Yeah. All right, do it. I'm going to do, do it. it. Let's do it. Ah, Let's I see. mean, I'll... Oh, because I can't pick up the ring if I want to keep the gloves. It's true. The jade. True, because you can only hold two trinkets, and the ring is a trinket. Maybe I'll just be a heal... I'll just... I don't have a great a damage healing, spell. Uh, right, you I'll don't. just be a healing a ranger. Healing mage ranger. <laughs> a healing mage ranger. There we go. That's what you get in Tiny Epic Dungeons. A healing <laughs> mage ranger. It's cross-classing. Oh, I love it. All right, so torch goes down to a blank space. Uh, okay, so my turn. Um, I'll go one, and I'll step up into here for two, and that is the lair, there my friends. Is. There it is. So I'm going to... I don't really even need to rest. I have we, so... We have a couple of turns. If I could find another piece sure, of the Sure, anything, anything nice. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Three, four would be my max movement. Um, 
Yeah, so, okay, I'll, I'll just kind of stick around instead of just immediately ending it, going in there so that mm -hmm. you can have time to find something. So uh, that'll put the torch track down, and we got Boomy the Goblin coming into the entrance, and he very well may be the one holding on to, like, the he, longbow of the panther or something. He may be, and I'm going to shoot him with my crossbow. The cool thing about this particular mage ranger is that I'm going to get a focus by cast by using my crossbow. Uh, so I'm going to shoot at Boomy. Oh, yeah. I am going to crush him because a five is enough to do it by itself. But I also get five, six, seven, eight. Woot. Nice. He's toast. And I get five focus back. So I'm actually full up on focus now. And so I will take the loot. Oh, man. Now it's showing me all of the Phoenix stuff. <laughs> <laughs> a spell tome. I am going to keep the spell tome for now because it yeah. still does help me cast healing aura. Right, it does make you a better a healer. Plus one to my intellect. At this point, like, I'd actually be comfortable going in. I've filled all my loot slots. Could okay. it be, like, specked out yeah. a little bit more? Maybe. Yeah, but your, but your health and your focus but, are full. My health is only down one. My focus is full. But you'll heal that as soon as you make yeah, an attack. I think we're ready. I Yeah, I agree. I well, think we go in. Torch track goes down. Triggers enemy actions are not present. Mm -hmm. My turn. I will go one, two. We've unlocked the foe's lair. So let's see who we oh, have. No. Ooh, the oh, pharaoh. no. Oh, no. The it's the two. <laughs> <laughs> he needs two of them. Uh, <laughs> okay. Just what we talked about. We're going to have to get to work on this guy. <laughs> Okay, so Sam's referring to the fact that there's two altar spaces, two ritual icons on his health track, which means we will have to kite him through this one and way in the world up there, um, which is the absolute farthest that you could possibly have to bring a... Okay, so anyway, at the start of this, I did I went one, two, uh, and so I would go here for three, and that's a minus three strength, so I don't want to stop there. Uh, I'll go here for four... And I'm going to make an attack. I can't do a lot He's of damage to He's a tough guy, to too, because he has seven defense. You're right, which means we want to fight him in the lair, not mm -hmm. way out here in the dungeon. Yeah. Um, but I will at least get an initial little hit in there. Oh, so that's I got, a good roll. Yeah, the max I can do is two damage. Mm -hmm. Which um, you'll do with that roll. Yeah, you know, this. I, I will gain that health back, like you mentioned earlier. So we're at seven, ten. So I will do the two damage, so I'll move both of those... Uh, trackers down one and then of course his counter attacks pretty nasty hits me for eight I have a total defense of four so I will take four damage in the counter attack the torch track because I entered the uh, final boss's layer flips over and this will go here so at the end of my turn it'll move down to the blank space and that is it and now Sam we got to figure All out right. what we're gonna do here so he only has two movement so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go I'm going to move here, and I'm going to taunt him. So that is a new action that's unlocked that you can do. It's a free action uh, for the dungeon boss specifically. It shows, spend, you on, yeah. I'm, shows you on the torch now track. Now that I know we're not building the dungeon out, I'm going to move it up here. It's a bit more visible for yeah. everybody. And you can see on the torch track there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend two focus to taunt the pharaoh out of there. So the pharaoh will spend one movement get to here and then one movement trying to catch me because i've taunted it now we're in line of sight and i happen to have one two three movement away but that doesn't matter because i can't hit him which means i would have moved one further <laughs> and taunted him again which that moved him through this ritual room which dropped him on there All right and then i can attack and him. then you can do some damage to him because i dropped that first ritual space so we can do damage all the way up to that second one so I will use my crossbow. <laughs> Hit him hard, Sam, with your crossbow. Focus. Come on, baby. Let's do this. All right, I had to roll these a little bit off. Not a terrible roll, but not a great one. So I'm going to spend two focus to make that three a two. So I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. From your set bonus. From my set bonus and the crossbow and the glove. So I have 11 total. He has 7 uh, defense. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So uh, that was my... That's actually pretty decent. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's great. And mm -hmm. then he had a shield breaker, so he ignores my defense. 
and deals me. I did a ranged attack, so plus two, so I take two damage. Ooh. Yeah. But it's, it, you know, I. I it's I good. think that's a decent no, opening. good, yeah. For, for where we need to go, yeah. this is a decent it's opening. not too bad. Uh, okay, this will go down, however, and that will trigger enemy actions. His enemy action is the plague, and he's going to hit... He's going to first move two spaces, and then he'll hit anyone within two spaces for two more health. It's fine. I've got <laughs> one health remaining, but at least by doing that, he did move a little bit closer. Yeah. I mean, so close that I can't do anything. <laughs> I, I can't even reach him. It might even be worth it. If we're being honest, I, I mean, I don't know about staying in there, but like he only needs to move two more spaces. I could taunt him up there on this next turn. And then go unconscious? Go unconscious or move further, like move all the way up here, taunt him, and then rest. And then you can taunt him. Because we know that on the next, he's not going to attack right now. We're going to be yeah. adding a goblin next. Mm -hmm. um, or you can move but out I'm to gonna take go, care of that I'm going to go and prepare for the goblin. Yeah. One, two, three... And I'm going to rest here and gain some health back. I'll gain three health. And I'm just going to hang out here and wait for that goblin to arrive. So that's the end of my turn. Uh, this is going to go down. So we find Stabby. And I'll set Stabby aside. We'll add him to the goblin. All right, Sam. Okay, so this is actually great. Because even ah, if I move here... Before, I don't... Real quick, before, because yeah. I am here. One, two, three, four... I could use my Warhorn before the end of my turn. It's a free action. Spend to focus, and I could dump him up in there, and you could start coming back this way. Oh, that's great. So I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i spend two focus, and I'm going to blow my Warhorn. If I had one, I'd blow it for an example. <laughs> and move him two <laughs> spaces, which will put him up into there. That'll get him weakened, so now his bond with the dungeon has been shattered, and he is fully vulnerable. All right. Uh, well, in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you get a hit in on that guy. I'm going to attack the goblin. Okay. And then I'll move that way to kind of let you two meet in the middle. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so I'm great. Gonna, I'm going to use my crossbow, which immediately gives me a focus. And wow, that's going to do it. That's six, and I roll a two, so I do get three focus back. One, two, three. Uh, that will kill the goblin. Okay, you can get three health or loot. You know... I'm going to take the health. Yeah, I think that's smart. One, two, three. Because I'm, I'm fairly tricked out as far as loot. I don't necessarily need it. Uh, I could gain it and maybe get something good, but I'll take the health, and then I can move. One, two, three, four. Look at that. We are making, we are making good work okay. of this. End of your turn. Enemies trigger. He moves. He looks to try and inf infect somebody with his plague and cannot. Okay. Uh, my turn. I'm feeling pretty healthy here at six health or seven health. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Because of my greaves, I can move all the way over there. And I will make an attack. I will gain one health initially for my lion set. Oh, man. Whoa. Oh, man. Six, two, and three. And I can use two focus to change this three down to a two, giving me a six, two, two, uh, which is 10, plus my sword is 11, plus my buckler is 12, plus my set bonus from the bear is 13. So 13 damage. That's six. Two, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So oh my our goodness. Pharaoh is sitting at four health left. Of course, he will counterattack me, uh, and it will six. be a six against my defense of four, so I will take two damage. And oh. then at the end of my turn, this will go down. He will trigger. He'll stay where he's at, and he'll plague me for two more damage. But I'm just going to go ahead 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. If I deal 11, then we win. I think it's worth if you, a shot. If you roll 11, let's but, do it. Yeah. Let's see it. So With your I, crossbow? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> going in. Ranger mage. This is, this is great. <laughs> All right. We're rolling it. Okay, this is not a bad roll. So That's a great start. I, I think we're going to do it. You've got all five, the focus you need. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, two focus to make that three is a two. Actually goes up to twelve. That's we enough. You just killed the pharaoh. That's enough to kill the pharaoh. Boom, 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 oh. boom. Overkill. Oh. All right, high five. All right. Woo. Well, we did it. That's exhilarating. <laughs> I feel really good right pharaoh now. Pharaoh is just—it was nasty that we had to bring him up so far, but with the war horn and and the planning, uh, and the, the fact that you actually were this like mix between a ranger mage was pretty fun um yeah and my set was really nice 
All right, well, thank you everybody for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this two-player playthrough of Tiny Epic Dungeons. Uh, check us out on Kickstarter right now. Join us on the comment board, and we'll be back uh, with more playthroughs later. Thank you all very much for your support. Yeah, we love you guys. Have a great day. Game on.